everyone, welcome to today's Day Trading Recap, Tuesday, February 23rd. Hope everybody had a good day of trading today. Got back most of what we lost yesterday, uh, plus 1,013 on the day. So let's go over these and I'll show you what happened. Starting with the Mighty 90s, just had one Mighty 90 trade, plus 740 in Facebook. So nice trade there. Uh, took a pairs trade in gold versus silver, long gold versus short silver, booked a just did, I mean, these are the micros, just did one contract. I was actually looking to scale in with more size if it pushed against me a little bit, but it just kind of took off in my direction. Uh, book 234 on that, so nice pairs trade. And then on the runners, uh, pretty break even, plus 39 on the day, took a, took a runner in the NASDAQ futures, minus 190. Nice winner in Disney, plus 375. Facebook, plus 620, so I booked over... Let's see, total P&L on Facebook today, over $1,300 between the Mighty 90 and the, and the Runner. So plus 620 on the Runner. NEO, small profit of 54. PLTR, my biggest loser, minus 1,200. And then Piton, plus 380. So let's check these out, show you what we did, starting with our Facebook Mighty 90. So Facebook. So Facebook was one of the strongest stocks on the board. It was... It was uh, just down less than everything else when the market was was really flushing. So we got this nice spike in volume uh, as it pushed down. So we bought some, we scaled into some more size as it pushed down one more time. And then this thing just ripped. And this was not just Facebook, but the rest of the market ripped too, which kind of helped push everything up. So had this big push up, got out of our uh, our last Mighty 90 contract right here after the close of this second green bar. I know uh, at least one or some of the folks in the community held on to a little piece and, and caught even some more of that. But uh, I was happy getting out here. Uh, so plus 740 on that trade. Nice, uh, really nice trade in Facebook. Uh, let's see, going on to the runner. So the NASDAQ, what I did in the NASDAQ here, again, we don't, we don't trade a ton of futures, but uh, sometimes I like to just take advantage of the move in the broad market as opposed to individual stocks. And so what happened here is had this big flush down. Let me widen this out for you. Had this big flush down and it bounced. Uh, I really thought that we would see a little bit more downside after a you know a bounce or uh, you know a bar or two. I thought we'd come back and kind of at least test the test the lows of the day, but we did not. This thing just continued to rip higher. But when it came up to this pivot, I thought, okay, we surely we'll see a little bit of downside action here. Kind of corresponded with some of the overnight action here. So I took a short right here at this pivot. Got out of, I did five contracts, got out of three of the five down here, and I was holding on for the last two for a little bit further downside. It never happened. So when this thing just ripped up, I just kind of, I let it chop around a little bit. When it started to come down, I just bailed on the last couple. So ended up taking a loss on that NASDAQ trade. Uh, Facebook runner. So in fa going back to Facebook, uh, another nice trade here. So in Facebook, you know, Facebook was really strong, even even with the rest of the market pushing, you know, Facebook was one of the positive stocks, you know, it's currently up 1%. Even though we had big bounces in a lot of the other stocks, they were still red on the day. And so I was looking for, you know, one of the stronger stocks. Facebook fit that bill, had a big, nice volume spike. So we were looking for a pullback and that corresponded nicely with, with yesterday's high. So we got long, actually, I, I took a little piece right here. And then as it pushed down, I, I scaled in with more size right here. And this thing bounced, got out of uh, three quarters of my position on this on this bounce here, kind of chopped around and then finally pushed up and I got out of my last piece on this big push above the highs of day, which ended up being a good exit because it kind of fell apart after that. So nice $620 runner in Facebook. And then NEO. NEO was a little frustrating. We had a, uh, we had a really nice profit in NEO uh, had this initial push lower, big volume. So on this bounce, we got short. I got out of half and then I got out of three quarters of my position right here, close to the bottom of this little push down. Still held on. I just had one contract left, but, and so I was, I was pretty small, but this thing just ripped with the rest of the market. And as it kind of chopped around, chopped around, and I ended up just getting out of the remaining piece somewhere in this, in this chop. PLTR, my biggest loser. So you know, when I'm, when I'm trading these second tier or third tier in stocks, you know, I'm keeping my position size really small, but even with a super si uh, small position size, uh, I still got taken out for 1200 bucks on this one. 
had this initial push lower. We were waiting for a bounce because I, you know, like I was showing you on the NASDAQ, I thought we might see some more downside. But on this bounce, we got short and this thing just never gave us any any downside whatsoever to even get out of part of our position and it just ripped higher. So finally, when it came down here, I closed out a half just to reduce my position size even further, even though I was pretty small. And then when it chopped around and it started to push up, I think on this bar right here, we kind of broke through the highs of the day. I just, I just bailed on the rest. Uh, and so I ended up taking a, a nice sizable loss on that one, unfortunately. But that happens from time to time. And and I talk about this a lot in the live stream, but what you'll what you'll notice is I always I always take much bigger size. If I'm on if I'm on if I'm on the big board, I call it with these top eight stocks, uh, which are your most liquid, your biggest. They really they really move the best with our strategies. That's where I'll be taking a little bit bigger size. Whereas I get into these you know, neos and PLTRs and you know some of these other little what I call second or third tier stocks, I I drastically reduce my position size. So still so which which is good because had i had i traded big that would have been even more of a more of a loss than 1200 bucks but um so that that's and you should really focus on doing that is making sure that you're you know when you're you're trading some of these little junk <laughs> i call them kind of junky stocks uh the liquidity is there but they just they the the moves are a little bit more erratic not quite as predictable as some of these on the first first board or even even the second are, are pretty good piton Roku are really good. I would consider them kind of first tier stocks as well. Um, Boeing sometimes, Zoom sometimes. You know, so all these are definitely good ones. And then I, I have these three, uh, this third board, which I and I'll add different stocks depending on some action going on. But I really keep my position size small in those in those third tier. Uh, then lastly, Peton had a really nice downside runner in Peton uh, during this during this market flush. So we had this big volume spike and on the same bar you can't see it now because the bar closed lower but this thing i was looking for a bounce to get short and this thing bounced all the way up to you know kind of in this area here of the bar so that's where we got short and then just this thing just flushed ended up closing out my last piece on this uh on this this pretty close to the lows here right before the the market and the rest of the stock stock started bouncing so booked a nice profit of 380 on piton and that's one, obviously, I wish I would have had a little bit more size on, but even small position booked a, booked a cool 380. So plus 1013 on the day. We'll be streaming live tomorrow. We'll see everybody there. Take care. Cheers.